here's how to get a page connected to Pusher. So the first thing I'm going to do is include some script libraries. Um, I'm going to include jQuery just because it's handy. I'm going to include the Pusher JavaScript library version 196 and it's a minified version. Um, and I'm also going to include this helper library. This doesn't actually do anything at the minute other than um, other than create um, assign a function to the log method which means that we get debug information. So first thing we want to do is a script tag, create a new pusher instance. We need to supply our key which is defined in the pusher dashboard. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to know when we've connected. So there's a couple of ways of doing that. We've got um, the way that Pusher works is there are channels and events. Um, we've got a connection object which is an event distributor. So you can also bind events to that. So if I do pusher.connection.bind and I want to get all connection state changes. State change. And then I supply an event handler. And what I want to do is close the script tag probably. I also want to have a section here where we can output the status of the connection. So when we get an update, but uh, when this um, when the state change event fires on the connection object, we will then be able to access the connection status element and update the text to represent to show the current pusher connection state. So up there we'll see. Uh, we're connected. So this is um, JSPIN. I can just render it in full. We're connected straight away. We can go back to the code. And I can comment out that line there. And we'll see that there's no status listed. I can comment it back in. And we'll see that we're connected again. So, which means we're connected to Pusher. And that concludes our connecting to Pusher screencast.